May I enter? The Queen isn't expecting anyone right now. You see, it's rather important I talk to her right this minute. You must have confirmation at least two weeks in advance before meeting with the Queen. Or you must be sent by a member of the Royal Committee. What do I do? You're not from here, are you? No. But I was sent by Master Grey of Acorn Bishop. Why didn't you just say that? What's your name? Haven. Haven Ivy Cordelia of Acorn Bishop. I'll be one moment, Haven. of Acorn Bishop has sent a pet by the name of Haven. Do these names mean anything to you? Master Grey is a dear friend of mine, very loyal in his days of duties here. He was an ex-guard, you see. Haven would like to speak to you. Should I let her in? Of course, I haven't heard from Master Grey in years. You may enter. Thank you, but what changed your mind? I'm not authorized to give you that information. Okay then. Haven, what do you wish to speak to me about? There has recently been a sighting of unknown creatures that we believe are darts. And I have been told that you know their origins? Oh goodness, we must look into this right away. Please describe me everything. How long have they been there? What are they doing? They've been lurking our village. I only saw them for the first time yesterday, so I believe they've only been there for maybe a day or two? What have you been instructed to do about this? I would have thought he would know everything about these death creatures. That's very strange. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He was very good in his days of protecting our ancient kingdom. He never talks, he never about, talks his about his past with, with me. He was very unsure of it all, which is not like him. I shall provide you with all the resources to adventure to Cloud Duff. That is where you'll find the home of the Duffs and how they've been escaping all the way to Acorn Bishop. Do not return until the problem is resolved. Of course, Queen Bluebell. Queen Bluebell. You will need assistance, as this is a very dangerous expedition. Therefore, I nominate Leaf beside you. You called upon me? Yes, we have a guest. I would like you to meet her. This is Haven. Excuse me, but I hardly see how this is necessary for Leaf to accompany me. You see, doing this mission has also given me experience to become a warrior. And if Leaf came, it wouldn't show my full potential. I just want to honor my tribe and show my full capabilities. Haven, hey I know you want to prove yourself to your village, but you can use this as an advantage to show your other capabilities, like how you can be a good asset to a team. I guess you might be right, yeah. I will not be providing the resources to a lone pet, because there's more of a chance you could be unsuccessful and nothing will come from it. Please trust me, dear. All right, when do we leave? Tomorrow at dusk, no one will be watching and no one will be leaving town. The last thing we want is for anyone to panic. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, I do. 
Now that you're comfortable with the idea of Leaf joining you, I think it is best the whole guards come with you, just to be careful. I've got to agree with Haven, that's very unnecessary. I just nominate myself to come. Elvia, oh, yeah, I think it is best you just stay here. You've not had your full training. Can we talk in private soon? I'll leave it up to Leaf to escort you to your room that you'll be staying in for the night. Thanks, that's very helpful. Here's your room. If there's anything you need, just let me or one of the guards know. Thanks. What about Imberly? What about Imberly? Imberly has refused all the help I've tried to give her. We give her food to help support her all the time, but we can't force her to eat but it. But it'll help her so much. She just doesn't know that it'll help her. What don't you understand? She simply does not want it. Yeah, but you're not hearing me out. Just give it to her. We're talking about a starving pet, for crying out loud. You're taking on people's problems more than you can handle. You can try to offer your help to someone, but if someone doesn't want it, you can't do anything about it. You've done what you can. It's just wrong. It is impossible to help everyone. That's why I focus on just Green Aurea. But why? You have the resources to help more than that. You know how they ended with Emberspell Grove. It's destroyed. I still feel guilty about it. That's why I'm taking on this mission with Haven. Emberly's the only pet who survived other than us in Master Grey. What is she talking about? That was 50 years ago. You can't keep beating yourself up for it. You did the best you could at the time. I focus on the needs of our people in Grunoria. That's my role. And I can give them an amazing quality of life. Sometimes people don't know what's out there and what's really good for them. People just accept things for what they are than what they could be or what they actually want. <laughs> It'll exhaust you trying to figure out what everyone wants because at the end of the day you don't know what they want. And with this whole Emberly thing, she's only considering what she's wanting to. And that's not your problem. I'll prove to you that I can help people see what they really need. How are you planning on doing that? By going on this mission with Haven, I can find a cure for them. I'm tired of being at the back of the action. I want to help and make a difference. And I can't do that if I just stay in my room. You're not in your room, you're in the throne room. Come on, Mom, you know what I'm saying. I understand what you're wanting, and maybe I have been a little protective. A little? I feel like Rapunzel out here. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Maybe this mission will be good for you. Thank you, Mom. Can I at least send one guard? Moment ruined. I'll go pack my things. Wait. Yeah? I love you, Elvia. I love you too, Mom. Oh no, gotta run, gotta run! Hi, Haven. By any chance did you hear any of that? Um, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I came down here to tell you, but you already know that I'll be joining you on the mission tomorrow. Yeah, well, I better get to sleep. See you tomorrow. Wow. wow. I'm going straight to sleep.